Good morning, everybody. Getting everything set up right quick. That heater, get making me scratch my leg. Is it? Yeah. That thing just keep getting hotter and hotter, don't it? Yeah, yeah. Put two boards up there, Stephen. You can cut two at the time. Is that what you're doing? Yep, can you believe it? <laughs> I didn't thought about it then. Good morning, everybody. All right. Coca back here laying down on the ground. Aw. Hey, Miss Marie. Good morning. Beautiful day. Like, I feel good. Got my pops out here. Hey, Miss Sandra. Hey, Miss Jenkins. Good morning. Man, they're driving real fast on that road. Dang. Man, what else is in people? He might have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> go do a citizen arrest on him. Hey, Miss Angela, good morning. All right. Hey, Miss Green. Oh. Got something beautiful y'all playing today? Gonna do something that I hadn't done yet? I got a pretty good idea. This is the color I'm gonna be using. Oh, not mayonnaise. <laughs> right there. Yellow. Well, hello there. How's everybody doing on this beautiful day? Oh, thank you, Miss Jill. Y'all, we got an umbrella set up because we got a lot of wind today. And I got Bradley put up because uh, the mystery man was cool. So I had to get him a little heater out here. I got a heater at his feet. And we was worried that. Now that's a big one, wasn't it? You hear that fish? I got a heater set up here at my pop's feet. Uh, I didn't want Bradley to stick his nose to it. So, so if you're missing Bradley, uh, he's he's laying down. I fed him two bottles. He's laying down. So. We're going to get this done. When we get this project done, I have a surprise for you at the end. <laughs> All right. First thing I'm going to do is go ahead and cut out a birdhouse. I'm going to go ahead and cut two out because I want to, I'm going to show you the start and finish and everything. I, I think that's, I like doing that kind of things. Stephen, uh, tie that power supply up, uh, tie the ransom up because yeah. I'm going to be toting it to the camera, the tripod, you know. Okay. Good morning, everybody. All right. I got my pad right here, y'all. I got, this is like my, I mean, it ain't important looking at what I got wrote down, but this is my patterns. So when I go to make this style birdhouse, I just go to my patterns 
cut them out. And that's what I'm fixing to do right here. So y'all enjoy. Gonna get two more boards. All right. Good morning from Missouri. Hello, Carol. We having a hard time getting everybody woke up today here. Yeah. to the post office and had so many packages this morning. <laughs> hey, I know you was up there a while, wasn't you? It took a while to get all that ran. So let me know when you get ready and I'll get up and and uh, get the camera. Man, over. I was like ready when I put my bridges on this morning. All right. Let me get over in here. Halibasi. Halibasi. Look like that. How about this, y'all? Hold on, let me show up. thing about that, Hodge, is you ain't by your heater no more. Yeah, but I'm good for the minute. <laughs> My little pink pencil here has been a good one. It's just hanging on. Robin from Minnesota, Stephen. I can see how it's pretty good. I'm up, uh, it's ain't in the light. We got snow in Missouri. All right, here we go. This morning. Hey, Stephen. Hey, Denny. How y'all doing? You know, we're going to show y'all this. But we're also going to show y'all something else. Stephen had told me this morning. We do, See, we do a little briefing, see. There you go, Robin. <laughs> Robin said, I'll cap for All right, what you cutting first, there, Stephen? This is going to be the top and bottom of the birdhouse. So you're cutting two birdhouses at once? Yes. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and just do two. Okay, and what's the inches right there? The first cut I'm making is eight inches. I need two. I need a bottom and a roof so a bottom and a roof and i need two per birdhouse i'm making two birdhouses so i'm gonna cut four at one time all righty go ahead there brother Them babies would be absolutely perfect. I mean, yeah, hold them up here in front of the camera, Steve, so I ain't moving all around. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's just four cuts. It's identical. Okay, we got you. Hi. Right. Hello, CDJJ. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. All right, the backs of the birdhouse is going to be seven inches. And if I'm making two bird houses, I need two seven inch cuts. Fit to make them right now. I see a little chihuahua running down the street over there. Look, <laughs> I don't know if y'all, see if y'all can see them dog. Uh, the chihuahua running down there, then diesel run up and the chihuahua turn around and start to go back. <laughs> All right, this right here is the back of the birdhouse. I needed two of them. I need one of them for each birdhouse. So here's my two birdhouse kits. My sides need two seven inches. My 
I'm gonna put my four boards back up because I'm gonna need two each birdhouse, so I'm making four cuts. This cutting four boards at once, that's the key to being fast. Just little things you can do to, not, not everybody's worried about being fast is what I was told. But. Good morning, Seaboard. These are going to be my sides. Seven inches on the long point. A little aggravating getting it just right when you got that many boards. seven but here's the beauty in this hold on i'll get that here can you see oh yeah i can lean the camera down all right this is gonna be tapered so my long point seven my short point's gonna be five so i gotta put my saw on a 45 It actually ain't 45, it's like 21 degrees. So what I'm going to be doing is cutting from my 5 back to my 7. Before I finish cutting it, I'm going to show you. This is my seven, this is my five, this is gonna be my angle for my sides. And that's a 19 degrees cut. I seen that, Sandra. Well, I got some more. I got one channel that I use especially for eBay. All right, I got two sides, one for each birdhouse. So I got, I got a bottom and a roof, eight inches, a back, seven inches, and these are the sides, seven to five. Now I need to get my front the part where my hole will be. I'm gonna need two of these, so I'm gonna go back to two boards. Hey, Ms. L. Uh, to you, Steve. Uh, hello to you too, Steve. Ms. L. <laughs> well, hello, good morning. We ain't had no sunshine here in the last couple of days. Yeah, I heard it. We, we heard it was supposed to get cold. All right, the front of the birdhouse where the holes are going to be, it's going to be five inches. All right, I got my five inches, but now I need to rip it. Might want to show that too. I got my five inches, but I got to rip it. Because it's going to sit inside of my sides. i seen that, but I'm not allowed to talk while Stephen's talking. <laughs> I'm just joking. Four and a quarter. Hey, he's just showing you that simple birdhouse, but he's got a surprise coming up for you later. 
he's, he's just cutting some of them little simple bird houses out and gonna put a shingle roof on it. And I reckon he's gonna decorate it, but he's actually got a surprise for y'all coming. You gonna come back to this side of the table now, huh? Oh, you ready for me to go back yeah. to the jet? Okay. I had something I was going to kill them in a minute then, Stephen, whenever you get started building. All right. I'm going to take our bottom and our... And see, what, what I usually do is when I set it on there, I just leave about half an inch. I just do it about a half an inch. I just eyeball it. That's my bottom. My side. Now I'm going to get the... Put my side on. Yeah, well, he's doing a good job, Miss Ellen, on that table. Oh, yeah. Y'all, I'm using my table for my next project. How cool is that? All right, I got my sides on. I got my bottom. I'm going to put my front in. And when I do my front, I like to inset it inside my walls. Yeah, it just has a little detail on it, Steve. That's right. And I kind of eyeball what's straight up and down and what's square. <laughs> I eyeball it. I do. I got one of them nail guns like that. Mine, it costs nearly as much as Steve's. But his shoots be different sizes. And see, he's got, if some, once in a while, it'll hit a, a board wrong. And yeah. so he's got these snips that he keeps out here. All right, this is the inside of it got a pretty little spot but I always make sure no brads don't come through the inside because I don't want to hurt no baby I don't want to hurt no baby uh, birds y'all know what I told grandma I told her when she goes live you know Miss Helen I told her to take her laptop out there because it, you know uh the writing is real little on here. But if you take your laptop out there with you, you can read the comments. All right. Beautiful birdhouse. Been drill out my hole. Hey, that's just as neat as it can be, Mr. Hodges. Well, thank you. Well, thank you, Mr. Hodges. Yeah, CDJJ. See if y'all to click likes. You know what? Did you know that dislikes, like YouTube, don't care? Go ahead and do that, Steve. YouTube don't care if it's likes or dislikes. I know, I know that's hard to believe, but but even if you hit dislike, uh, that's still you doing a call to action. What YouTube calls are call the action. All right, got my got my hole in it. Got me a slanted roof. I'm gonna put a be putting a shingle roof on this.
He's full of ideas, ain't he, y'all? All right, I'm gonna go on and put this one together right quick. I like to have two in case something happens. Or I get a good idea all of a sudden, like the dogs. That's my, on my bottom and my back. Put my tapered side in. I seen the comments there about Miss Helen. You know, we we right here live and in color. And I won't be here all the time, but Stephen's here and he'll go to her anytime. Anytime. Yep. And he'll have her. They, they together is the two best on camera that I've ever seen. <laughs> we have fun now. You know, I don't know exactly what you call it because I ain't college education, but like it's when one person makes the other person good, they good for one another. Feed off one another's energy. Yeah, I think that might be right, Stephen. Feed and, while, off of and while one of us is laughing, the other one's thinking of something to say. I seen that. I seen that comment there, and I read to, like Stephen didn't ever read your comment. Read, do that last part one more time. Oh, did somebody make a bad comment? Sandra? Not a bad comment. Sandra said some people can be rude, you know, but I, but I didn't get that rude. Yeah, that's right, Jill. I want to be good to everybody, especially Tina Turner. This one built. Time to get a hole in it. You know, we we thought of a long time ago that. We could put these bird houses on eBay, you know, for, you know, just the $13 that Stephen charges. And you can do that, you know. And the shipping would be cheaper. But, but here's the problem. Oh, you're on the live? I hadn't seen it. Uh, uh, but here's the problem. They they putting the bird houses on there for uh for, for y'all could just go buy one and he could print the labels easy and he could have the the mail coming here picking up the packages every day and I, I mean it'd be wonderful but there's one little problem. Now now y'all I know about all this stuff. Now here's the deal. Now, because this doesn't happen to me. I mean, I know what I'm talking about. If you, you know, everybody's going to say, well, well, where's it at on eBay? And you can put a link down in the comments and stuff. But like YouTube, do not like you leaving YouTube going to eBay. They don't like you leaving YouTube going to Facebook. And... The uh, uh, eBay loves everybody, but like YouTube and Facebook, they want you staying on their channel, 
watching as many videos as you will possibly watch. They don't want you leaving and going to eBay. So see, it would hurt Stephen. It hurt me. They took some of my best videos down but because it was going to, uh, you know, to it was going straight to where I was selling on eBay and, and where I still am. Be able to cook. You, uh, you full of love, ain't you? I see that baby. I see that baby speaking to everybody. Yeah. All right, Padre. See if you can get a word in there. Here we go. I'm fitting to get it painted. I'm excited to do the roof. I hadn't. I done a shingle bird, uh, a shingle roof on the mega bird house, but I didn't do it on camera. So he's gonna show y'all how to do a shingle roof, and you can go about to the um, store and you can get a, a bundle of shingles. And I mean, it'll do a bunch of bird houses. Yeah, they're about $35 a bundle now. Stephen, when I started roofing, shingles was uh, $16 a square. Man, they're eighty dollars now. And we was complaining about it being high then, you know. Oh, gone. I love this yellow. Yes, yeah, Stephen probably make a bird feeder. I mean, he's already talked to me about it. He's, oh uh, y'all. Boy, y'all see him a little bit here, you know, doing these videos. But, like, he's busy all day long. <laughs> That's for sure. And see, he has to have everything wrapped up because he has to go to school and pick up Bentley. So he has to kind of have everything wrapped up. Right. I think it's great getting to use my table I built yesterday. I seen that Dolores uh, about the metal roof. I don't know what kind of metal you would get to put on these. <laughs> well, but me and Stephen's right here. I see that in the background, Mom. And all right. Me and Grandma would make a killer. What they doing over there, Stephen? That's the mail, man. Oh. Got a package. Bradley's in the in the. Uh, where's Bradley, Stephen? He's right? in his kennel. We. Daddy was a mystery man. Was a little cool out here with the wind blowing. So, I I put a heater at his feet, and I didn't want little Bradley to get his nose in the heater because it's got an open flame, propane. So I fed him two bottles and I put him in his kennel. He's laying down. Got him some wheat straw in there. Or not wheat straw, got him some hay in there. So he's <laughs> right at home. Hey, Robin said, old license plate. Hey, that's pretty cool. You know, you got to have something looks pretty good. Stephen can't use that. Oh, uh, you know, the metal roof in there. You know, it's got them big old ridges in it. He can't use that. And he could use flashing. But it's that old silver flashing. I mean, I don't know how good it looked, you know. The metal's kind of a problem. Yeah, that's right, Sandra. That, uh, Stephen and Grandma, they enhance one another. And they could take turns helping one another, going and doing videos. But and she, she likes to do it when she likes to do it. You know, she I, get free breakfast every morning. I tell you what, you won't hardly believe. Oh, uh, Stephen, he didn't even care about a channel. 
he just enjoyed all the love on Grandma's channel. Uh, he would have been perfectly fine doing that, but see, that puts Grandma having to get up and do something when Stephen comes, and and I, she might be about like me. She likes to do something when she likes to do it, and not until then. <laughs> that sounds about like anybody. Well, uh, like Tammy will go on and like, you can just say you, you want to go eat a hamburger and she'll say okay, but I have to kind of be in the mood to do something. I don't know many people that like to take an order. Well, I ain't really talking about taking orders now, but like... Well, I'm saying it's, you got to do it on their time and not your time. Right? Yeah, I mean, and, and you know me and you know she gets nervous. If you were standing there waiting, you know. But anyway, we, we right here, y'all. We right here. And we, we, uh, we love Grandma. Heck yeah. And, and we right here. She can ride out here right now. She can ride out here tomorrow morning. <laughs> hey, I had, I had, I, I think I ate three of them McMuffins yesterday. And then Tammy ate one, and I, I had two in the microwave. And Stephen come up like that, you know, when we was talking over the video stuff, and he's he telling me what all he wanted me to do and everything. And I had two left. I ate one, and he ate one. He said, these things are pretty good, warmed up, ain't they? I said, yeah, man, there ain't nothing wrong with them. Linda, you on your lunch watching? Linda, you gonna have to come watch when you when you get get home. Oh yeah. Miss Helen, y'all, look at here now. That's my mom. You would not believe how tough she is. That's a working woman now. Well, I mean, I ain't just talking about work. I'm talking about mind wise. She, she's tough. Thank you, Linda. You know what? I scroll through Facebook, and Stephen, it might be the same way with you. You know, you know I see a lot of people that you are one mutual friend, and and Grandma's one mutual friend. Yeah. Thanks for that super chat. Nine nine nine. Mm -hmm. That'll help Stephen buy that'll help Stephen buy a little more paint. Yeah. Certainly will. That's a super chat there, Stephen. Only way you can get super chats on live video. That's right. Alright. Got my yellow done. I'm ready for my shrimp. Well, he certainly appreciates it, uh, C.D. Yes, C.D.J.J. That's what her name is, C.D.J.J. <laughs> Monique. I like that name. I'm telling you, I really like that name, Monique. I really do. <laughs> How about you, Steve? Yeah, it's got a ring to it, don't it? Oh, thank you, Monique. And she, she added, but when I, after I said something, she added, she loves me too, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to do my trim. Y'all, uh, he said he's going to do his trim and I tell y'all something. They still kind of, oh, uh, I heard Stephen talking on the phone to somebody this morning, like checking on the, uh, i tell you that in a minute, Sandra. i seen that. I'll come back and tell you how to do that. Uh, I heard him talking to somebody on the phone this morning down there in the camper. Uh, 
he still, they still got the goat thing going on, you know. I mean the lamb thing. That's, that's still going. He's, he still got every penny of the money. As a matter of fact, he, he never took none out. <laughs> but I was going to tell you, back on the super chat, cause I, I know because of being at my house looking, you know, Stephen. Uh, there's a little uh, thing down there where, like, you're going to put in the amount. You're going to, and then, like, you go in there and you put your credit card information or debit card, you know, whatever it is, it's safe, you know. And then you can send money on Super Chat. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah, I think it's the dollar sign. I was going to send him some. I was going to send him some on Super Chat. But I didn't have my glasses on. I couldn't see. But but I give money to Stephen like when, you know, when he had the lamb tragedy. I give to him and there you go. <laughs> have I ever give? Like, uh, not lately, but I've give a lot. <laughs> right. I've bought cars and trucks and rifles and oh man, you name it, you name it. A lot of Waffle House trips. Yeah, a lot of Waffle House trips. Tell them about the time we hunted all day. You took me to the Waffle House. Yeah, we. And you get hunt. It's the hunting things like church. Boy, it's something about hunting. You get hungry. And it's something about being in church. Like, uh, <laughs> getting hungry. And we went up there and Stephen got him two full plates. Hey, I knew he wasn't going to be able to eat it, but he thought he could. That waitress would come back, lean down on the table like Stephen, uh, she'd sit there and watch him. And, oh, she boy. She didn't feel good. Yeah, she was, you remember that? She was leaning down there watching. She just put her, she'd just do like that right there and watch me. Yeah, she would do, she would come by about every five minutes and lean down on the table like that. He, he didn't eat it all, y'all, <laughs> but he tried. It was a, it was a ham and cheese omelet with hash browns and a double waffle. Yeah, I mean, he got two full plates. Well, I certainly put a whooping on it. That's right, Monique. I just got all that from Grandma. Thank you so much for the love. You know what? You know, I, I tell y'all something, and I told y'all once before. I, what I love is I love how y'all love your fellow man on here. Yes. And... I know that, well, let me say this. I know that there's a bunch of people watching that haven't got an account. And it's nothing, it is nothing to go to Google and get a YouTube account. And if you and if you got a YouTube account, you got a YouTube channel whether you know it or not. And you can go to Windows Movie Maker and take pictures like you say you want to. Take a video of all your stuff in your house, you know, in case you ever need it. Need it. You can get Windows Movie Maker and put that vid put that video in Windows Movie Maker. It don't cost nothing, and you can run it and you can upload it to your channel and put it on private. And, I mean, you can do it both ways, you know. I mean, uh, they got an unlisted. And that means you can send it to your cousin. If you if if that, as long as they got the link and it's on unlisted, they can go watch it. As long as they got that link, or you can just put it on private where nobody can see it but you. And then you know the public's what the YouTubers do. You know they put it on put stuff on public. But you can take you know I mean that YouTube's gonna be here. Man, they got a bunch of them places, and when you uploaded a video. 
It's like the Bitcoin thing. Oh, uh, it they up when you upload a video, it uploads to one thing, and then they upload it to two, and then they upload it to four. All around the world, like in case some of that goes down, you won't never lose that. And that's the way Bitcoin is too. But it's real good. Like if you got something you want to have and keep, you put it on YouTube. You just write your username and password down. Yeah, yeah, I seen somebody got, I, I didn't catch the name. I was reading all of them. Said they have 15 subs. Yeah, if you, when you go sign up, it, it, it probably takes two or three minutes. You got a YouTube channel then. Yeah. And I'll get Stephen to bring his laptop out here and show you how to just simply upload it. Uh, just to simply upload. And like when the youngins come over there for Christmas, you say, let me show you all this. I got, I got something I wanted to show. I kind of wanted to do it today. But y'all remember yesterday I said I made a bunch of them bird houses like Grandma made. Santa give fifty dollars. Oh gosh. <coughs> but anyway. Thank you. I got a video of that on my channel, but I got it on private. Uh. But it's it's like of us at Christmas and Grandma's there and a bunch of us there and Stephen's there. And, but but it's got them four bird houses that I made for for Christmas presents. Them them wooden them wooden shingle bird houses. Remember that too? I do. But yeah, like like YouTube don't want everybody to know what I just said, but like you can just have it for your own private little Well, you remember when you you and mama's house burnt down. The insurance company, y'all had insurance, but you had to prove you had what you had. Yeah. And, and you had a video walking around. It You wasn't even recording the stuff in the house for that reason, but you had a video, and that's how y'all wrote a lot of your stuff down. Yeah. Oh. Uh, uh. And, and it's the video that we for bird houses. We sent that woman that video. I seen it to her, the insurance woman. And she seen that we had leather recliners and and like it, we had a real nice place, you know. And everything's new and I had computers and a bunch of stuff, you know. I mean, you know, you know what all we accumulate. But anyway, that woman looked at that video, and we just happened to have that. And that's still on my channel now. It's just uh, on private. Well, uh, when we do another video, I, I try to, uh, I try to do it and, and get Stephen to show y'all. That was the scariest day of my life. Cause the neighbor lady called me and said, Steve, your mom and daddy's house is on fire and we can't get your daddy to the door. <laughs> His truck's there and we can't get him. Man, I drove as just as fast as that truck would go all the way there. Pulled up. I won't never forget it. I pulled up. The fire department was sitting there. Now, they was all there. But they was just sitting there watching it burn. Boy, I got out the truck. The truck was still rolling when I come out of it running. I run up to that house. I went to that room. I kicked. I did a flying like Superman kick on the side of the wall. I knocked a hole in the wall. Like I was going in that house. I mean, that them firemen ran out there and grabbed me. There's two ran out there and grabbed me each arm. 
you can't go in there like I'm fitting a, I said I'm fitting a tear I'm fitting to tear you down and you don't let me go and like I thought my daddy was in there I was devastated yeah me and Tammy was at home at the home store you know yep mama had happened to be off that day and you had rode to town with her like probably the last time you rode to town with her I mean like it was not in your character to be your truck to be there and you and you know you'd be gone you know and that fireman grabbed me by the face and like made me look at him and said your mom and daddy's in town they're not inside so like you know what like i come back to reality but i was in and i told him i said wet like daddy had guns and ammo in a certain room and i told him i said wet this room get some water on this room like it's valuable stuff and they did they Boy, they jumped in there and they wet it and it saved all, but I think you lost two guns. Saved the rest of them. Well, they, they replaced them, you know. They replaced the guns. I don't care about, about talking about that all that much to you. Well, that ain't, even, that ain't even what I was wanting to bring up. But. That was a long, long time ago. Miss Davis said, pretty yellow. That is a pretty yellow. Yeah, I'm glad I, you know, I'm glad I wasn't at home because I think I would have been in there trying to, I think I would have been try, in there trying to toad everything out. I, I, I mean, I thought about that before. I think I would have been trying to get stuff out of the house. So I'm glad I wasn't there. They said it started at the stove. You know, they come out there and investigate it. They said it started at the stove. You know, like behind the wiring. Not the, not cooking something. The, the wiring behind the stove is what they said. Oh, that, that investigator made me mad enough to bite a nail in half. Asked me would my mom and daddy set that fire. I said, have you lost your mind? I said, look, look, it's burnt to the ground. How would they possibly benefit losing everything they've had for 40 years? I don't know if he want to ask me that, Steve. He asked me, was y'all capable of setting that fire? That, that just didn't sit right with me. Like I... I don't think I'd care where he was from or who he was. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's disrespect. He might be doing his job, but like, that's just some stuff you don't. I sailed on people before for way less than that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all, I got, I got my trim work done. I see something on the inside there I gotta get. Start on the roof, I'm excited to show y'all. I got a beautiful color picked out for it. Golden Cedar, it's even got a pretty name. Golden Cedar Shingles? Golden Cedar. That was one of my favorite colors, Steve. Yeah. Yeah, that did, that did light me up. Well, I mean, I'm saying it would have. I don't know if he would have, he would have said that to me. You know what, what it is, is they want the, the insurance company wants to blame somebody where they can sue them. And that's what that's all about. I can't wait to start on this roof.
That heater's nice, ain't it? Oh man, that thing like feels good, boy. I bet they can hear it running. They just might not know what it is. You know, that don't surprise me, you know, about the grandma thing. I, and y'all, I promise you, she don't even want us even saying nothing. I know we're that good. But still, and they told me she acted like she was damn. But you know, we way right here, and Stephen will go help her. I'll go help her. All she's got to do is pick up the phone. I'll be there. I went and seen her the other day and I took her some packages that people sent. <laughs> people mail me packages for grandma. Yeah, I don't mind. I took them to her. She, you know, she, she loved them. She's just blown away by them. I got my trim done. Now I'm ready for my roof. But while I was there, we went down there and looked at her woods. I looked at all of what she cut. She has cleaned a huge spot out. I mean, nice. I told her. Hold on, Steve. Yeah, I, y'all will. Uh, I don't think birds have started going into the Hodge Lodge yet, has it, Steve? I've seen them sitting on it, but I hadn't seen any going in it. Okay. But she's not going to ask. Hey y'all, a lot of times I'm doing us and I got I got a man that that does my work for me. And he makes me coffee. And he goes to home store for me and he makes my product I sell on eBay that I invented. Set that to the side. All right, this right here. That Monique, I like that name. This is what I'm gonna use for my roof. Okay, oh, yeah, okay, I got you, bro. It don't matter how you are with the camera, it don't never do good, do it? It uh, has its moments. I'm gonna cut these in one inch strips. Hey, cut two inch strips. I'm gonna tell you, one inch is mighty little now. I tell you what, cut some one inch and you cut some two inch. You, <coughs> you get any more good idea, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all. Uh, you know I'm his daddy. <laughs> and like I, you know, you normally wouldn't be say something to somebody, but. Like I'm his daddy, you know. <laughs> I don't think nothing about saying nothing. Did y'all see Stephen's Kid Rock song on Facebook that I had put together for him? I'm just eyeballing this. We went down there at the post office yesterday. Boy, Stephen had a pile of stuff down there. <laughs> I was helping him tote it out. And the post office, uh, the lady asked me yesterday. She said she's got two boys. And she wanted to know if, if I had six bird houses she could get. Hey, Miss Shirley. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I forgot about that. See? Six bird houses she could get. And I, and I was like, you know, I don't mind, but I was like, well, what? what? You know, that's kind of unusual to want six. And I was like, what? You know, what? What you gonna do with them? She said, well, my boys, I want to get them for my boys to give them to their teachers at school as gifts. 
And I was like, oh, well, that'll be... And, you know, she told me they had so many teachers each. But she said she didn't have paint and stuff. Like, they wasn't crafty people. But she wanted to know if she could bring her two boys out here. And, like, I could sit down with them and let them paint their birdhouses. Like, man, I would... That would be an honor. I would love to help them young men out. I don't even know how old they are. Uh, you know, that, that ain't even important, but I would love to help them paint a birdhouse for their teacher. That would be amazing. Yeah, have a paint party. Yeah. Y'all know what? I told the woman down at the post office, they going to, like, Stephen keep on getting famous. They're going to have to name a street out of him. <laughs> I just... And you know what, y'all? Just when I get mad at Stephen, he turns around and totally redeems himself. <laughs> like remembering the woman at the post office. When you're mad at me, I redeem myself. You totally turn around and redeem yourself. Make me start laughing. Just when I done got mad. That's funny. I'm gonna cut these shingles. I'm gonna cut two different sizes up. What is it, David? Pizza and birdhouse and paint part. Yeah. Yeah, the, the lady's scared to come. <laughs> She wanted the boys to come over here. Is it her boys or the school youngin? It's her son. It's her two boys. Yeah. Hey y'all. Now you you can take this right here to the bank. Like I love youngins. And I, you know I mean a, a lot. Of, <laughs> he he made me mad by remembering. No, he, he un made. He let me forget about the woman at the post office, about going to the post office. And then, but then he redeemed himself by remembering. So you was mad at me, but then forgave me? Yeah, I got mad for a second, and then I totally forgive him. <laughs> That's funny. All right, I got some little squares there. Got two different size squares here. I know, Miss Jane. Miss Jane come up with the name Hodge Lodge. I, I seen a bunch of that stuff. I, I watch Steven's videos pretty close even when I'm not here. I watch them pretty close. And you know, a lot of times he don't, he don't get to watch the replay, you know what I mean? He's, he's busy. All right. Hey, I, that was a real long message. I didn't get to read it, but, uh, I don't know if he's going to be able to do this right here, you know. Yeah, I don't know how much longer he's going to be able to do this. Uh, uh, but... But I do know this right here. He's going to do it as long as he can. And then he'll still be, even if he breaks his leg, he'll still be hopping out there to Look. the truck. Looks like I dropped this in the grass. You know what that is? I'm trying to figure it out. That's moss for when I put it on Bentley's house. Oh, yeah. When we worked on that. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. Yeah, I don't know how long Stephen's going to keep being able to do it, but he's going to try to keep, you know, as long as he can. I'm going to turn this around where I can see them a few minutes. Okay. I got to wait on my hot glue gun to warm up. Yes, sir. Go, you go right ahead, Mr. Hodges. How's everybody doing? I'll show you these little, these are asphalt shingles. 
This is the real deal. 25 year, a 25 year product. That's gonna be cute. And this is, <clears throat> look at that. I held up the crookedest one I had. Bearded Granny's gonna, she's gonna be laughing at me. Stephen, why don't we do one straight and one like with, with the shingles jacket hanging down and see what they look like. And then we'll take a boat. What you think? Straight and then jagged. Yeah, you know, when you lay shingles, you lay them straight. That's right. But on the next bird house, you ain't got to paint it if you don't want to, but you, you can jag it up and down. Aw, uh, Miss Sandra says she loves every video we make. Got my hot glue gun here getting hot. I don't know how long it takes. I don't think it takes very long. Oh, it's running out of the end. I guess that's that's game on. Hey, don't let it drip on the table there, Steve. Man, my brand new table. Getting to do a product on my very first. I'm going to turn this back over to Mr. Man. All right. You know that, that William y'all hear me mention every now and then? Mama's brother. They half brother and sister. And my mama was a hawk. So they both got the same daddy. They both had the same daddy. There we go. Can y'all see that color? Get a few on there, Stephen, and we'll lean it down. Look at it. Y'all, no, Steve, boy, he has his hands full. You know, he has to go uh, pick up Bentley, you know, a lot. You know, I mean, not all the time because he halves it. Yeah, yeah, they, they half brother and sister. And they close, too, you know. But Steve, boy, he, he does a lot now. I said, now you know what Grandma was talking about, about trying to get it, get set up and get ready, and it's a lot of trouble. Y'all, you know, I used to make videos. Uh, and and I got to start back because my moon is going down, y'all, because I ain't been making none. See, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> can't imagine that. Yeah, I did forget. I forgot what I was saying. That's... Oh, yeah, I remember. Y'all, I stand out there. I stand out there all day long making a video, you know, for my channel. All day long. Grandma sometimes, sometimes Grandma's out there two days. And she totes her stuff in and out the house. Uh, every, every time she makes, I mean, she goes to a tremendous amount of trouble. A yeah. tremendous amount. Yes, yeah, she does. Oh, bearded granny, you forget too sometimes. Bless her heart. Yeah, they. Yeah, y'all, there's a lot too. That that YouTube. To, I actually help Stephen on the. You know, I do a lot for him on the computer because he don't have time to do it all. Not with the amount of. Uh, not the amount of videos that, that he makes. Most time I do the thumbnails for him. Sometimes he does them, but a lot of times I do them. He, he knows how to do them, but y'all, I'm telling you, he's got his hands full now.
that on top. Caterpillar. I like that name too. I I I actually read that uh about the where the name Caterpillar come from. You know your name. I actually read that on here. Your husband used to work for Caterpillar. Yeah. Cater Caterpillar. <laughs> that sounds kind of funny. Say Caterpillar three times too, in a row fast. Caterpillar, Caterpillar, Caterpillar. Okay, he's done it pretty good. I don't know if I could do that. <laughs> you know what, y'all? That live, the live video stuff, boy, you almost got to have somebody filming for you. I mean, uh, like the, if Stephen was just going to sit there and do what he's doing, uh, you know, light the camera up and, and just have the camera in one spot. But like when you're moving around, uh, you and you're doing live, so you can, if you ain't doing a live, you can move your st stuff around and edit and, and all that, but this stuff, uh, this live business ain't been too long come about, you know, uh, I don't think, you know, with a mobile phone, and boy, everybody's falling in love with the live thing. You get you a YouTube channel, and you go live, and it'll already be uploaded, just put it on private, like if it's something you want to keep at home, you know, that you don't want everybody to see. You can go live and and have you a copy of everything. Well, I like, what, the reason I like the live is because I do so much and I try to put out so much content if I was sitting in there editing. Hey, Stephen, slide a little closer to us, huh? With the, with the birdhouse. I think you can do it and it'll... Yeah, I think that's better. Sit this under the back and see if it helps. Does that help? Mm-hmm. glad y'all watching so glad every time we, I seem to do a video the birds are just absolutely beautiful nature <laughs> Sally hey did you know the Sally sells shells down by the seashore thing Steve oh gosh I Go knew that was coming hey, she, she's like want me to tell you I, I can't tell you that man Cause I can't even say it once. <laughs> How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? That's another one. We love Grandma. Yes, Grandma is so sweet. Yeah, what somebody just said. It goes running cruising by. Boy, I... You know, about five o'clock the other morning. I I don't I think I have hadn't been too long wake up and and we had the front door open. Oh, uh, boy, when I was hearing this sound out there. <laughs> <laughs> and hey there, Miss Projects. And I the dogs was barking. And I could, I, man, I could hear it. I said, I said, damn it, that sounds like a hyena. <laughs> Y'all look at that. Hey, that, hey, that's it, ain't it, Steve? That's it. Got a yellow birdhouse, black trim, a shingle roof. How cool is that? Y'all, I described that what was, Sam. What was the super cash lady that sent the twenty dollars? Uh, I don't know if she ever actually got it. She was, was Miss Sandra. Yeah, I think yeah. Tell Miss Sandra to send me her address, and I'll send her this birdhouse for her. You hear that, Miss Sandra? For her generosity. Stephen said he'll send you that birdhouse. Just send your address. 
for you. For just for thinking about it. How about that? Hey, I described that sound to Stephen. I said it sounded like something laughing. And he knew what it was. He, he, he knew what it was. <laughs> it's a bird. But that bird goes, Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. And it's like weary sound, like it's, you think of it like a haunted house sound. I mean, it's pretty creepy. Yeah. Hey, that's what it was. I mean, it'll kind of make your skin crawl if you don't know what it is. It's, it's hairy sounding. You can do it in, in Go Fund Me and, oh. Uh, that Sandra, Stephen, or uh, you got to re remember that, you know. Remember what? Miss Sandra's going to go to GoFundMe and send you something in the GoFundMe. So you'll have to remember that in your mind. Yeah, just make sure I have her address where I can send her that birdhouse. I would, I would love to do that. Hey, Miss Sandra, if you want to, you can go uh, down in any of Steven's videos and he's got his ad they got his address in there and there's a PayPal and I think have you got your email in there Steven? Oh I don't think my email's in there. But it's S Hodges384 at gmail.com. Say it one more time. S Hodges 384 at gmail.com. I'm going to do a different pattern on this one. I want to give it a little hangover each way. Hey, y'all don't... Y'all don't forget to share this video to Facebook. If, if you want a computer, you can just go down, look down below it, and it, you'll see share... And it'll put a link up there. You can just go put that link right directly in Facebook. I seen one woman last night. Y'all know this is the kind of son I got. I seen one woman last night say that uh, she wanted a bird house, but she didn't have no money. In the comments, I've seen that. She wanted a bird out, but she didn't have no money. And I seen uh, Stephen tap something, you know, like about he was sorry. And then he immediately made another uh, uh, reply. I, I mean, I seen it come up there on the screen. Uh, he told her, to send his uh send her his address, he would see to it that she got some. Hey, son, here's the way it is, y'all. Here's the way it is. You don't know something until you know it. I, I was trying to help Uncle William out last night, you know, like telling him how to do some stuff that he has to do. And I was trying to help him and I said, you, you think you any different than I was or Grandma was or Stephen was? You don't know until you know. Everybody, you might can be born smart, but that don't make much difference if you're doing something you ain't never done. Yeah. Ain't that right, Brother Hodge? That's right. Hey, I, at Uncle William, I had to tell him, I said, slow down. I said, slow down, listen to what I'm saying. And he got it. I said, I, I ain't going nowhere, I'm right here on this phone. I said, slow down a little bit. Well, are you proud of me? Proud of you? Yeah, I slowed my hands down. Oh, yeah, I was moving yeah, my I'm, hands I'm proud of you. 
You said I was moving my hands too fast for everybody. Hey, son, you work like you picking up pecans. <laughs> you like work too fast, you know, for for camera. Like, can't, it's a blur when you work. You work so fast, it's a blur. Well. Steve, you know, we used to nail shingles on by hand. And Stephen, like, got up there and got to go with nailing. And he was nailing so fast, he backed off the roof and he nailed five shingles to the side of the house on the way down. <laughs> you funny. I did not back off the roof. You make them think I fell off. <laughs> Hey, Sandra, I, I wish I could tell you, if, if I was on my computer down there, I could tell you exactly, but see, I can't, I can't see what you're looking at. You know what, Steve? What's that? We'll let them look and judge it. But boy, I believe the straight's gonna be, look better than the jagged. You believe so? Uh-huh. We'll, we'll see though. Hey, you know, y'all, I done a pretty good bit of talking yesterday, but I, I do want to say this right here. And I don't know if every man's like this. But like women, like, you know, I, I got a bunch of friends on Facebook that like girls I went to school with and stuff like that, you know, and just hear me out, hear what I'm saying. Like, you know, they, they liable to have been a pretty little girl, you know, in school or something like that. But it seems like to me, the women just get better. The older they get, the Man, the prettier they are. I, I, I wish there was some men on here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah them, them women get on my Facebook. You know, some of them, you know, they, they get on there and put their picture on there, you know, about once every two weeks, something like that. And I asked one of them, I asked a few of them, I said, well, are you trying to drive all the men crazy? <laughs> <laughs> like I do be messing with them, but like they know, like, they know, they know I'm kidding. They, they know me when I was in school. But I mean, man, they be pretty now. Like a lot prettier. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know if it's just me. But, but I like women like that. I mean, they, the older they get, the older they get, the prettier they get. You ever, have you ever, well, yeah. Stephen, what do you think? I think the older they get, they figure out what they want in life, and it's a lot simpler. Yeah, but I ain't, I'm talking about pretty. Yeah. They, I don't know that, oh. Uh. Anyway, <laughs> like I am. Uh, like the women in school that weighed 100 pounds soaking wet. Like when they hit their 40s, boy, they, they make up for it. They fill out and, and make beautiful women. Hey, uh, y'all, I, I made... I, I didn't mean to cut y'all. Are Steve. you forgetting that we're trying to compare him? Yeah, but I want to <laughs> clear this up. Okay. I made a, like drum videos and I was like taking pictures of women and stuff like on my Facebook, friends of mine. And I was like showing their pictures in a slideshow and everything. And I still got that video. I can show it to you. Like it's unbelievable. 55 and 60 year old women like look like they 30 years old i may just get better and better
Just get better and better. All right, I ain't, I ain't mean to mess you up, Stephen. Let's, let's hold it up here one more time. I'm gonna add some moss to it. And y'all, I tell you what, I like, me and myself, I like women. When I'm walking down the street and I see a blonde lady, I turn around and look at that woman. <laughs> but if it's like a little young girl, like I'm, I'm straight ahead. But if it's a blonde headed woman, I turn around and look every time. <laughs> you know, got to look and see her from behind, you know. Hey, that looks good right there now. Say, Stephen, I didn't mean to mess you up about trying to show the roof so like the bird. Like on that movie. Two guys was walking down the street and this good looking man and woman come by him. And that guy turned around and he said, Whew, would you look at that? The guy turned around and looked at the cowboy's butt and said, he must work out. <laughs> but the, the woman had the cutest little butt you've ever seen. Hey, y'all, me to tell y'all what women do. I, like, I, uh, hey, you ain't gonna be better than that. Every time women get up from at a restaurant or eating or something, they pull their shirt down. <laughs> yeah, I do. I, hey, I don't dislike women. I love women. You know what the world would we do without the women? You know, really. What what would we do? <laughs> Yeah, we'd be out there playing Cowboys and Indians or some dumb stuff like that instead of watching the Hallmark Channel. Hey, that's right, sir. You know, uh, let me tell y'all something in case you didn't know. Men like women. <laughs> if you didn't know it, Men like women, and they like pretty women. Now, me, I like all women. Steve's making this thing look like a haunted house now. Hey, look at my mom. Boy, you wouldn't. I realized yesterday I said she's 82. I think she's going to be 80 for this month. In, in about 10 days. My wife, my wife knows that uh, I ain't no harm. I just kind of tell it like it is. I mean, I'm one of the few that, like if you had a contractor working on your house, if I tell you I'll do something, I'll do it. And I won't be saying this and saying that. I'll do everything. I say I'll do. Hey there, Miss Diane. You know, I won't throw no curveballs and I won't bring no stuff up at the, you know, at the end of the job. I mean, I'm a real, I'm a real straight shooting person. What do you think about that, Brother Hodges? Hey, that's beautiful, Stephen. You are the man. Well, uh, lay it on me there, Brother Hodge. Well, I mean, I wasn't asking. Was that a man? I just wanted to know your input. Well, listen. If I'm going to say you the man, I, I ought to be able to say you the man. Well, I mean, I just ain't never been one to... You right. You my daddy. You proud of me. I ain't nothing wrong with Yeah. That. I just don't want to be on here saying I'm the man, cause that ain't that ain't the case. Well, sir, it ain't you saying you the man. It's me saying you the man. My neck said that's beautiful. Thank you. You could get a little closer up here. And 
Monique and everybody be a little happy. You remember when I was telling y'all? <laughs> Malice, uh, something like that. She said, you are the man, Steve. When I was telling y'all yesterday about my wife get women to come over there and sit with me. Because <laughs> I would call somebody up and get a driver, you know. So she wanted her driver instead of me getting my own driver. Can y'all see that? And I, I was like naming women to get her to come, to, you know, for her to call and get to come and sit with me. <laughs> she said, oh, no, mister. You just a little bit too slick. I said, yeah, well, you better be glad you didn't get her. Man, that do look good, Stephen. Stephen, you are the man. Danny, you the man, too. Thank you, Rona. I seen that Rona. I seen that Rona name on there before. I seen all of his name. Like I'm... I'm starting to catch on here. <laughs> oh, man, me and Tammy's won some dancing contests. Hey, y'all, I used to be like, uh, like I done got fat now, but you look, I had a six-pack <laughs> stomach for a bunch of years. <laughs> what you laughing about, Stephen? I just laughing. It's funny. Man, you was built like a tank. Oh, yeah, I was, y'all. I got some video of that. Y'all wouldn't believe what I used to look like. But like, getting old and I, and I, I don't get better like the women. Us men just get uglier. But Rona, what I was saying was, I asked, there's a Rona that works with Tammy, and I asked her, oh, uh, was that the Rona, you know? Hey, y'all, Stephen can dance, too. Man, like a machine. You know, we was down at Panama, we went down there. And the girls was talking about Stephen could dance a little bit too good. Now, now y'all know what I mean? Dance. I, I tell you, they asked me, was I gay? Yeah. I said, no, they ain't a gay bone in my body. You didn't think I remembered that, did you? I didn't think you even knew that. Yeah. Yeah, like, hey, yeah, he can dance. But he don't dance with a twist. Hey, Stephen, you know what? You know what? I tell you what. I heard Stephen talking about the, uh, doing the karaoke for the first time I was there. I said, boy, you got some guts now. <laughs> <laughs> and, boy, it's hard to remember what you're saying looking at this right here. But, uh, yeah, he, he can probably do Cotton Eye Joe. He can... He's amazing about how he can just pick up and and uh, sing a song he ain't never sung before. Stephen, can you turn the hole around a little bit here? Yeah. Hey, yeah. That better? Hey, man, that looked like somewhere where if I was a bird, I'd like to fly in there. <laughs> Wait, a minute, let me let me get that zoomed in there a little bit. Hey, Sandra. You know, I don't know, but, but like, I seen him down there dancing, and, and, uh, and he kept, he's a smooth one dancing there. I seen him, and he, he told me that, he, he come over there and told me what a girl told him. He could dance just a little bit too good. Marie said, you got an eye for detail. 
You know what, y'all? I thought all the time, instead of him trying to do too much, is just do one and do like what he's doing right now. Trying. Angel, Angelia, here's a bird you'd want to live with. Definitely be a pretty place to drink a cup of coffee, wouldn't it? Hey, Miss Judy, she's a gorgeous birdhouse. I love it. Thank you, thank you. Boy, I, if we could get, if we, Stephen, if, if we could meet somewhere, and like go around and have a big old barbecue and we could walk around and meet everybody at one place yeah. somewhere in the United States. Uh, the ultimate meet and greet. We get Tammy's Kim folk riding your truck. She got you got a little bit stiffer springs at being a four wheel drive. She, she's she's gonna whoop you. <laughs> She's gonna whoop you. She's eventually gonna see one of these. All right, I gotta. Show y'all something that I don't even think I've ever even ever put on video. Uh oh. America made, how you doing? Y'all know, sometimes don't people don't know they are the man. I don't think I've ever seen somebody on YouTube giving stuff away. Stephen America May wants to know where Bradley is. Bradley is in his kennel. I got... Y'all, look at Bradley's little print. There's an autograph one. All right, I'm gonna take the camera here. No, you didn't finish telling him, Stephen. He's wanting to know was he bad. Oh, that's a lady. American made a lady. You know what? I knew that. <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> I did know that. I forgot. Hey, it does got like a guy name, ain't it? Uh huh. All right, I'm gonna show this piece off. Brad, hey, you didn't finish telling him about the heaters, huh? It's kind of cool this morning. So my pops wanted me to light a. I put him a propane heater out here at his feet, and I can feel it from right here on the other side of the table, but. I didn't want him to get chilly out here, so I got him an umbrella behind him, blocking the wind, and I didn't want little Bradley to stick his nose to the burner, so I fed him two bottles at once. He drank them down, like, till they ain't no tomorrow. And I put him in his little kennel with some, I got some hay in it, it's a big, it's like a kennel for a Saint, uh, a Great Dane. So it's like the biggest one you can purchase. And I got him in there and he... Look at this beautiful birdhouse. I put a 25 year roof on it, golden cedar. I cut them little squares out. 
Put some moss on it. Get a little autograph. Ain't that cute? Like this one right here is beautiful. I wouldn't mind like sending it out, but like I don't think you could ship it with all this on it. I don't think you'd ever make it. So I may put this here in my collection. If if you would want one like with a shingle roof, you know, I could send you a kit and I could send you some of these little pieces. I mean, I ain't on here trying to just do a birdhouse. But I'm saying if you want one or if you really want one, like I, I'll, I will be happy to send you one. These shingles right here, they're about $35 a pack, but I have them because I, you know, that's what I do for a living, so. Yeah, he always has shingles left over. And it don't take a whole lot to cut these out to make the roof on these. <laughs> but look at this. Well, I had the camera down there and you picked it up. Yeah. Proud of it. Painted it yellow. Daddy told me mayonnaise. Painted it yellow and I trimmed it out in black. The back's kind of, whoop. Back's kind of plain, but it's got the moss around it. <laughs> Man, that, that looks homey, don't it? Yeah, it do. The little green mosses got such a beautiful color. Grandma said the birds that eat all the moss off. Probably use it for nests, won't they? Yeah. I've heard her say that more than once. Yeah. You got a beautiful house. I'm glad y'all could be a part of the live and, and actually see it, you know, being cut out put together, prepped, painted, decorated. I can't do but about one show and every other day, but I try to make it a good one. And y'all make it possible being a part of it. They want you to swap around there so you see the comments. They just are telling you. I... They just are telling you how beautiful you are. I know it's a beautiful... Just a steady telling you how beautiful you are. Oh, me? No, nah, they talking about the birdhouse. <laughs> All right. Miss Kate says she sent a package to the Hodges. It should be there today. Hold that thing up there, boy. Miss Kate, is your husband named Tom? Oh, hey, Miss Jenkins. I'm waiting on Miss Kate to tell me is her husband, Tom. I got a package today. Oh, Kate, that was absolutely beautiful what you and your husband sent today. I I mean, like, it, it was overwhelming. Like, you hang on a minute. You just hang on a minute, and I'm going to show all these beautiful people what you sent. You let me go grab it. It's that good. Y'all know what Stephen's planning? After this video right here, he's already set up in the house. And this is what I was talking about a while ago about he had a surprise. He's gonna go live on Facebook when he finishes this video and he's gonna sing karaoke. So you need to look up Stephen Hodges. He can do that karaoke on there but he can't do it on here because of the copyright, you know. Mm -hmm. 
And I'm Danny S. Hodges on Facebook. You'll see me. I think I got a blue shirt on holding drumsticks. And you know, I, I, I don't think Stephen can take no more friends. It, you can't have but 5,000 friends. But you can still look him up and, and look at his video. Oh, no, I can definitely take more friends. I thought you had 5,000. Yeah, I do, and there's new people coming in. I'm calling out people that don't have nothing to do with it. All right, y'all look at this. This beautiful reef that says Bradley and Chester. Now look at this now. Look at Bradley with his... Uh-uh, get back, get back. Look at Bradley with his bandana on. I'm telling the deaf dog to get back. <laughs> And look at this. This is Chester, y'all, with a bandana. This was handmade. How cool is this? Chester and Bradley. And no, I, I think she's got them damn pat. I mean, how cool is that? She said her husband Tom made them out of. Uh, Polyester pottery clay. Well, look. Uh oh, I got a cramp. I can't. That's beautiful. Little Bradley with a bandana and Chester. Then we never asked him which roof they like to be. Well, it's going to be kind of hard to... It's kind of going to be unanimous right now. What do y'all think? I know one's decorated and one's not, but which roof... Which roof do y'all... Ah, uh, candy carrots is for Bentley. Yes, ma'am. I'm going to have them for him. He... He's at school right now, but that was so sweet what you sent. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there was lots of stuff in that box. It, it wasn't just this. I mean, I'm fond of all of it, but jagged. So this is what you would say, jagged. You like this one the best? You know what, Stephen? Little Bradley. You can send them a tap in the box when somebody gets a bird out and let them cut their cut it out, you know? Because that's that's about one tab, ain't it? Uh I cut two tabs up. That was three whole tabs. The stagger tiles. They like the stagger tiles better, Hodge. It do look good now. I mean, they, they both look good. I think I, you know, when you was halfway doing it. It's hard to choose. When you was halfway doing it. Miss Connie's corner, did you get the crosses fixed? Yes, ma'am, I did. I certainly did. Thank you for that. They was all beautiful. I'll make sure Grandma Helen gets one. Make sure everybody gets one. Oh, thank you, Miss Kate. I tell you what, I got your address saved. I got something very, very special I'm going to send you and Tom. Uh, I just got to get a box big enough for it, and I'm going to be shipping it to y'all, so I have a surprise for you. Thank you. The Jagger one looks like a mouse house. If somebody was wanting you to build a squirrel house, house I think what they say a squirrel house yeah well it's hard to compare because this one here don't have anything done to it I mean it please bring Miss Helen over soon I promise you I promise you I will Stephen talks to her on the phone y'all that's so beautiful 
So glad y'all could be a part of this. I just, I just love like turnkey. I just love turnkey projects where you get to see it start to finish. Could you build a butterfly house with slits in the front? I bet you we can if we knew what to make. Like it's not a problem. I like the natural look though. I do too. I like to I like to distress that natural wood and clear it. Oh, it's so beautiful. There's Miss Roberts. I got your I got yours sent out today. I took a lot to the post office. It was a bunch. There's Miss Jenkins. Love watching. You are so awesome. You know they'll come pick that stuff up, Stephen. The we love your project. Never seen a squirrel house. I imagine I can build about anything. Here's, I mean not. that lighting it up a lot. I had an umbrella tucked in here. Really like the natural. Oh yes, I agree. The thing about it, if I don't have the saw to do it, like I'll go get the saw. Like I, but we can build just about anything. Just, I mean really it's just a matter of having the tools to do it. I've seen a squirrel house, they are pretty. They look more rusty. <laughs> Them hearts are so beautiful. Danny, look up a butterfly house. Hey, I'll do that. I'll do that when I get back to the camper. Thank you, Miss Angie. She said, I'm a very smart and talented man. Just leave the front open. Put your nuts in. They don't seem to be hard to make. All right, Hodge, you talk to him a minute. All right. Let me. Look at Chester. Bradley. <laughs> Bradley up here. Put him up here in the flowers. I'm gonna look this squirrel house up. Well, I like I like trying to do something here. So I'm back in here. Hey, y'all go hit the like button. I guess I, I see it, it. It might be different on y'all, but it's showing 83 right here, right now. That, you know that stuff like that, comment and stuff like that? That's like called a call to action. Yes, yeah, Stephen, he is the man. He is the man. Sandra, did you ever get straightened out? YouTube worries about a call to action. That means commenting, uh, hitting like or dislike. It don't matter. It, it don't matter. Well, you you know you can't see the dislikes, but like, but you can see them on your page. 
they, hey, they send money. It's got an for Steven. Every video he does, they go in there and there's exactly two dislikes on every one he does. Exactly. But it don't matter. Even if they hit my dislike, it hits him. These squirrel bird houses are a hundred and thirty dollars on them. Hey boy, we sure better we sure better make some of them. He's looking that up on his phone, y'all. Connie's Crafty Corner. You got a channel, Connie? Yeah, they are some mean people, boy. Like they hurt Stephen's heart. And American Maid said, look up uh, Butterfly House. Yeah. You know what? I, I got aggravated with YouTube myself. Is the reason I quit putting videos on there. And I mean, I, I still have income coming in from... It's been two years. I still got income coming in. Hodges, mm -hmm. tell them they talked me into the, to the squirrel bird house. Hey, I think they heard that, Steve. I just talked me into it. Steven's umbrella keep trying to blow away here. Maybe it feels a little better. Hey, you get the most. You, you tell Tom to come on. You oh man, my phone. I get so many calls, Steven. I don't even answer them no more. I don't even answer my phone. Unless it's somebody I know. You know, I made I made a video seeing this. In the background, it had my phone number in there on the sign. Man, I was wondering how in the world everybody was getting my number, calling me. And I, I, I like, I, I can't talk to everybody. Understand what I'm saying? I got that eBay stuff, something I invented, and I can't take all the calls I get. I can't, I would be on the phone all day. I don't even answer questions no more on eBay. Because I, I mean, I, I mean, I would have to hire somebody. Because I ain't gonna sit here and do that all day long, answer questions, and talk on the phone. Never built one, Hodge, I'm building it now. All right, we see. See, he's building one now, y'all. Y'all, I've been squirrel hunting. Them squirrels, whenever they hear certain, whenever they hear certain birds, son, they gone. I've been, I, I've been in the woods just thousands and thousands of hours. And they certain birds that'll make a sound, and I mean, they, them squirrels are gone.
Yeah, a hawk is one of them. One day we're gonna figure out how to get everybody together. We get everybody to bring to campus. We won't, we won't have no tame hog. We'll go get a hog from the grocery store so no animal was harmed. <laughs> Y'all, I was sitting there watching the news yesterday morning, and they was talking about the woman that was talking. She said, she said, when somebody says, let's be perfectly clear, is when, is when they fit to tell you a lie. <laughs> And that's the first thing that come out of my mouth. Let, let me be perfectly clear. I hear you, Sandra. Hey, shoot, boy, you never know. Like, pe people will, uh, you know, did y'all know people go see Grandma? She goes out and eats with people and stuff. Yep. Steven do got a pr good personality. What we do when we when we have the when we had to get together, we'll get the wild women in some campers and get the, the regular women in the other campers. But like we we want to know where the wild women campers is, you know. Like not me, you know. Not me want to know where the wild women is. Just the other people, you know. DV, some beautiful woman on TV. I said, no, nah, that woman's ugly. That's the ugliest woman I believe I ever seen. I said, Tim, I, I just like just normal women. Hey, hey boy, he's just a getting it over there now. I'm telling you, he's got them hands. Watch him, y'all. Are you the one that I'm friends with on Facebook from Dublin? I went. That might not have been number nine. That might have been G. No, it couldn't have been a G. And Ed, are you the are you the are you the friend of mine from Dublin? I'm, you know what? I didn't seen that about the bat house. I, I mean, I don't think we got a bunch. I don't think Stevens got a bunch. I think there's certain times of the year that they fly around with some birds. Y'all got bats, Steven? Uh, they around. Okay, so you, okay. I just thought you might have been the Annie that I knew. I 
I know she knows about Stephen's channel. <laughs> Y'all grandmas had people from New York come? Like, I don't, you know, she talks about y'all all the time, yeah, I, you know, but she has a bunch of people. <laughs> like Steven, just a go one over there, boy. Yeah, I ain't never built one of these, but looks pretty fun. Sandra had a bat flying her window. I wouldn't like that neither, I don't think. <laughs> no, can you imagine the commotion you'd be making? I'd be talking about, Tammy, get this bat out of here. Yeah, we done, we done talked about Grandma. You see, I built it square. Went ahead and built it square, and then I'm gonna go back and cut my angle out of it. Uh huh. Some of that genius coming out. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Always be missing, Steve. Well, y'all ain't the only one that thought that because I heard Stephen say that, you know. Say what? Grandma was feeling down, acting down, you know. Steven, you gotta go get Grandma some sugar. Yeah. And what you making there, Steve? A squirrel house. I 
Hey, Stephen can't just, like, invite himself to go do a video with Grandma. She's, she's got to ask him, and he'll be glad to do it as long as he ain't working. Y'all, he wasn't even going to make a channel. He, he just enjoyed doing it with Grandma. I was doing on him about making a channel. He didn't care nothing about having a channel. He just loved it. He just loved doing it with Grandma. Yeah. People that people that make comments, you know, well, uh, negative comments. You know, you can block them. You don't. I, I mean, a lot of people don't do it, but you don't have to put up with being harassed. You know, you can block somebody on. You can block somebody. Add the trim to it. But everybody already knows. Everybody, a lot of people don't pay that no attention, you know. Because they, everybody knows these idiots out there. Oh, I know, son. I've heard Grandma say that y'all would get on somebody like white on rice about uh, saying stuff, you know. I heard her say that. She told me that. Y'all, uh, Stephen talks to Grandma a pretty good bit on the phone. Stephen over there building a house. Yeah, I, I think so. I think America made you still with us. Yeah, he's still here. Oh, she's still here. Ask her does she want this. It was her idea. Stephen want to know, do you want that America made? And I think I can answer that question. Yeah, I went on there. I had a computer at my house that I like kind of help grandma out. And I went on there and blocked some people myself. Hey y'all, I'm, I'm telling you, she's tougher than you think. She's tougher than you think. I, that was my mama. Look at her, she'll catch a gear, y'all. She, she's tough now. Like un unbelievable tough.
My brother was the same way. They's always, uh, you know what I mean? They was somebody doing that to Stephen one time, and, and, uh, he, uh, I told him, you know, I, I could block him. I said, you know, they might have just been kidding, you know? Because you don't want to block your viewers, you know, your viewers, unless it's real bad. And that, that person doing that, we kept an eye out, and he, he didn't never, he didn't never do it again. I mean, I think he's just kidding. That's what I told Stephen, thought he was just kidding. He was saying some pretty hard stuff, but I think he was just kidding. All right, I got to go get my big hole saw for this hole in then. Okay, Padre. Because I didn't have it out here. Hey, I, I mean, I know that, Diane, but I'm telling you, you don't, you don't know the kind of hard-driving woman that you don't know the woman I know. She's tough now. You know, she reads the comments. I don't know if she can read them all. She gets an unbelievable amount of comments. It's ridiculous. Like you wouldn't think nobody would care that much. Not that much. <laughs> but she tries to read all that. Oh, uh, she tries to read all the comments, and Stephen does too. But since Stephen reads all his, I'm I'm not sure about Grandma, but I do know that. It's, oh, you saying the phone was at 20%. Yeah. Stephen reads all, every bit of his, and he comments, his, <laughs> he comments to everybody. This wasn't on. How about that? Oh, man. All right. Chester back, get Bradley back. Hey, I hear you, boy. I hear you. Miss Diane Ball. Hey, I, I mean, I don't think y'all understand. Man, Stephen, like, he'll leave and go, like, right after this live. He, I mean, he's, he's planning on doing karaoke live when he gets through with this for y'all. But y'all don't understand, he oh, will go any day, any time to go help Grandma. Oh, you told him? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I told him why you was... I thought that was going to be a surprise. Well, I mean, it's, it's kind of time to start saying, you know. Hey, y'all, Stephen will go help Grandma any time. I'll go help Grandma. All she got to do is say she she needs my help. Because I have helped her a bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of times. All right, y'all. 
I didn't know I was gonna be building a squirrel nest, but that's the beauty of live. You don't never, here's the other project. <laughs> I mean, that's funny, ain't it? Steven, I didn't catch, what'd you say, son? I was reading something other. I said, I didn't know I was going to be building a squirrel box. Oh, yeah. That was, yeah. That's the beauty of life. Like, you don't ever know. Hey, I might, and you whooped it up pretty quick, didn't you? Well, I, I basically just Googled squirrel box on Google, and it didn't have the blueprints or nothing. I just kind of looked at the layout on it and just built it out. I, you know, added my own touch. I put, this is the back part right here that I cut off the roof to get the angled roof and uh, it'll make a jam up ledge it's a beautiful ledge so like I I used it well Steven is the man <laughs> and and y'all let me tell you something man I, I ain't bragging I'm just I'm just telling you for the record I had a YouTube channel and I went and figured everything out, like to a T. And I taught Grandma everything. She could already film good, but I like showed her everything over and over and over. Like how to upload fast, how to do the software, how to fill everything out, explained everything. Just like Stephen don't even know half of what Grandma knows. But because he ain't been told everything, you know what I mean? But, but, hey, she wouldn't even be here, y'all. All right. How beautiful is that, Hodges? Steven, you are the man. It's kind of running together, ain't it? Oh. Uh, no, no, I mean, it looks good. I, I, it's just dark, Steven. I didn't realize my battery wasn't charging. Did you did you charge it up? You oh, it's charged, but I forgot to turn it on. How crazy is that? Stephen, how old are you? Forty years old. All right, Hosh, I'm gonna pick these up. All right, but a look. Hey boy, I love had to just go to YouTube and I just had to make a thumbnail of that right there now. <laughs> well, this is a beautiful project. Got a birdhouse there, put a shingle roof on it. I enjoyed, I enjoy cutting them out, putting them together, being turnkey where you like, you, you know, you could do it. Look how beautiful. Stephen, let me know before you sign off. I got something I, I had talked to you earlier about. I wanted you to show everybody. Okay. Just let me know a few minutes before you're going to sign off, and I want you to show the people. You know, that, there's a bunch of people see this after the live, you know. I had seen on here that... Well, we probably need to get on. Yeah, okay. I had seen on here that somebody didn't know know how to cut 45s. I'm fit. We're fit to show you. Steven's gonna show you how to do it with the with the saw he's got. Oh, the saw. oh they want to know how to do a 45. Yeah, and like y'all, this is like this is like a. Let me show you here. A 45 is these kind of cuts right here, and like. That's what you make, like Grandma. She's got her little miter saw. You, you, you don't have to have a big saw like Stephen's got. 
Oh, she's got her little hand saw miter box. Stephen, how do I get over there? Move that table out of the way, son. Let me get over there where I can let you show us how to do it there, partner. See, I seen a woman say she wanted to know how to do this in the comments, so we're going to let Stephen check. Well, it's, this saw right here has 45 degrees. Can you see that? Let's see. Where, yeah. The saw has 45 degrees, but the actual, this is the degree that your saw is cut on right now. It's yeah, that's, that's square straight. Zero. And then you have a 45 over here to the left, and you have a 45 over here to the right. So say like this board right here, we're gonna go ahead and do a right 45. See, show that too. He's got it on the 45. That's right. You just wanna come out to your outer point. Yeah, you ain't got to, but. Steven, where's the board I laid over here for you to show that? I used it. That's a, that's a 45. I'm going to show you. We're going to turn it to the other side. Put it on 45. We're going to make another cut. Now. All right. We did a left and a right one. Now can put this together and it is a perfect cut so you know y'all can you can go out and get a window pane from you know a little glass pane from the home store and you can buy some molding and you make some nice uh picture frame so 40 a 45 and a 45 makes a 90 degree angle and that's what you want if I had my framing square out here, you could lay it on it and you'd see, you know. Okay, we well, crush. Straighten that put straighten that saw up and show them like how it'll lean. Oh, you can lean and do the same thing. Watch okay. this, y'all. Hey, this saw right here does it all. We'll go back to zero. And then on the back right here. It's got 45 and dead. Dead zero also. So I'm gonna lean it over. 45. And see his his blade is, is see there's two ways you can do that. This saw right here, he's got the laser light, it's got the laser light. This saw right here does it all. Yeah, it's expensive, but it does it all. If you fuse like a, this is the kind of saw a carpenter has. <laughs> you see, he just cut, he just made the same cut, but the saw was laying sideways. And then you can take your board and it's still exactly a 90 degree angle. Okay, grab the skill, skill saw, Steve. And you can uh, do the same thing with the skill saw. I'm fit to show you right here. If you ain't never looked, he's fitting to show you. All right, the skill saw has a setting right here on the, it's set on dead zero right now. It has an error right here. So if you want to do a 45, turn this knob and rotate that out. You show the blade there, Steve. So when you cut now, it'll be a 45. It's a little harder with a saw. I mean, uh, you wouldn't want to be a amateur and try to cut a 45 with this because it kicks real bad you really need to know your stuff to use it with it but this big saw right here is real simple
I always keep it on zero and I always do my 45s this way because it's easier. And y'all even little jigsaw, it's, you can turn that blade too. Okay, Steve. That jigsaw. You can turn them decks too. You might have to unloosen the screw here. Yeah, but this will turn. And then even this saw right here, the scroll saw. All these saws have the, all of them have the 45. That's a 45 right there. Okay, I think it might be boring people, Stephen. Why, well, I mean, yeah, I agree. Look, but there's the 45 cut. See it laying on there and hitting the blade? Draw them the heater that I had for you. <laughs> yeah, that's the reason we couldn't have Bradley out here. Padre, are you ready? Yeah, we don't we don't want to be boring nobody. Know what we're gonna do now? Put hey, big man, won't you take this thing and okay talk to him? <laughs> hey, y'all, I enjoyed it. We'll see y'all next time. Oh, uh, y'all hear my pop? Said he enjoyed it. I'm gonna wipe the camera off. That's better. Yep, laser cutters, definitely. Thank you. Hey, don't sign off yet. I got some important news. Nothing. Up. <clears throat> this right here, just, I know y'all seen it. Man, we got to put that on a light pole, right? And I just ain't been ever to stand back and look at it like this. Oh, gosh, now I'm bumping the camera. I got it trimmed out, got a little ledge for the squirrels. Thanks, America Made, for that idea. Never made one. Ah, oh, thank you. Love my work and kindness. <laughs> All right. Hey, tell you what. Do you did you car figurines, Stephen? I came in late. Uh, no. These figurines was a gift. Oh my gosh, so sweet of a gift from a YouTuber, Miss Kate and her husband Tom. Tom made them. All right, y'all. When I get off of right here fitting to walk inside i'm gonna get straight on facebook live and i'm fitting to do a singing concert for you oh look at that miss pillar still in there thank you sweetie for that super super cash oh uh, super chat <laughs> super chat i'm gonna get right on facebook go live i'm fitting to do a concert if any of y'all want to come on there and join be a part of it hey that sounds beautiful i would love 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 to sing some songs for y'all <laughs> i can't do it on youtube but i can go to facebook live and i think i have my profile on public so i think even if we're not friends i think you can still view my channel all right well let me get cleaned up out here Y'all be looking out. I'll be live in just, I don't know, maybe about 10, 15 minutes. It won't take long because I already got it all set up. Have a good day. Thank you for watching. Butterfly house was me. Monique wanted squirrel. <laughs> oh, it ain't nothing like getting it mixed up, is it? Well, hey.
I guess I'll do a, be a butterfly house next. Sorry about that, American May. American May said I didn't want the squirrel house. That was my neat. <laughs> hey, we made it anyway. Hey, you do. It, it's as easy to get mixed up. <laughs> All right, y'all. Have a blessed day. I'll see you back in a few. Thank you for watching.